per usual. No one saw anything, eh? Chinatown. Hey, so I hear your partner got promoted. Left you holding the bag, eh? Okay, I'll get the canvas going. Hi, how you doing? Something on your mind? My, my hearing, you know, it's it's good, it's excellent. I run my own audio store. I, I mean. There's a difference, right? You hear the difference. Compared to... The difference is one. Ping pong ball makes a certain sound. Jimmy. 20 years of ping pong like that. With a cheater. No, it only bounced once. Jimmy, a friend of yours? Brother. I guess you should have more patience for family. I guess uh, I'll use mine up. Figure that's what killed him? Probably the fall. 20 watts just to knock him out. Heavy pushing out the window. I think I hurt my back. Turn around. It's OK. Put your hands behind your back. Second cup's not free, but that was another fight. So that was my night out in the town. Well, no, that's impressive. Busy day, huh, boys? Who wants to know? Staff Inspector Ross. He's expecting me. He's over there. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? I didn't think so. Thank you. Who the hell's that? Please, come in. Thank you. Four minutes, three seconds. Yeah, I must have been there at least an hour. So, uh, how much do you pay the brother to do it? Actually, Wallace, this weird thing called instincts, they develop after you solve a few. Years from now, it might even happen to you. Bob? Yeah, what? Guess you're in good shape? Just the paperwork. Detective Bob Kozlowski? Detective Denise Maguga. Hey, how you doing? Man of the hour right here. Well, a minute anyway. Karma, these things. Next one will take a year to solve, you know. What unit are you with? Um, four years sexual assault, six major crime. But most of last year, I took off sick, though. Hmm. 
Better? Yeah. Yeah, much. And pretty thrilled to be here. Here? A homicide, Bob. And she's starting with the best. Fresh one. Francis Vale's in the West End. A young woman shot in the drive-by. Detective McGuin already has the information. So? Oh, I'll meet you in the parking lot. Yeah. Okay. Sir? Woody, don't start with me, Bob. Thanks for the bushwhack. Officer in charge. You the man? Yeah, uh, Percy Harris, 11 Division. Bob Kozlowski, Denise McGugan. Hey. Hey, what do you know? we got? Uh, we got a Sophie Petrovic and a Dr. Lloyd Kazan. Shots fired at approximately 6.35. Uh, Dr. Kazan is at St. Joe's recovering. Miss Petrovic was dead shortly after she got hit. Uh, the car was a red Camaro, not late model. Plate was KLY and nobody saw any numbers. Mm -hmm. Shooter? Uh, shooter. Shooter. Um, shooter. Uh, that's okay, he's gone. Oh, well, you know, I, but the time, it's, 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 no time wasted. You know, time's our enemy. Who told you that? The last homicide guy we had in. You know, I didn't personally assist on that, but, uh, you know, I, I got the drift. How many murders are done, person? Uh, this is my first, too. Oh. Yeah. Get yeah. back to the shooter. Yeah, uh, 11 people saw anything, and uh, we've got general agreement on uh, two males, white, uh, late teens to 40s. Great, so we can rule out adolescents and grandparents. You got any hard evidence? Yeah, we got some uh, uh, tire skid marks, and we got a bullet buried in the door. Oh, hey, don't try to retrieve that now, OK? That might be all we've got. Just uh, take the whole door downtown. I've started with less. Come here for a second. Yeah, I've started with less, too, and it's not a lot of fun. Now, the difference here, as opposed to cases that you've worked on during your many years at major crime and sexual assault, our victim can't talk. So if the crime scene doesn't, we're in a lot of trouble. I was only trying to be positive. I'm trying to. That's good. Then we're both in agreement. Detective McGugan and I are going to go interview the family and the doctor tonight. You can get us set up a division, desk, computer, nice room. Sure. Yeah. I'm also going to have to speak with the other division detectives. Uh, I think I am your division detective. Uh, unless somebody else frees up, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't hold your breath. Well, then you're not going to be holding yours. I want a complete canvas of this entire neighborhood, see if anybody saw anything. I want all the garbage checked for okay. anything they might have dumped. Yep. I want all the uh, street front surveillance cameras pulled. Okay. Also call the cab companies and the TTC, see if any of theirs were passing by at the time. I want traffic reconstruction on these skid marks, and I want you to call the DOT, give them what you got on the Camaro plates. Sure. And I want to put a zone alert out for the car, all right? Zone alerts. Uh, detectives, is there any chance the killing's connected to the abortion clinic? It's premature. I'm sorry? It's premature to speculate at this time. Abortion clinic? Yeah, that's where they both worked. You were going to tell me that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I own the restaurant. You can't take my door. Uh, yes, you are, sir. You want to leave the bullet there? Yeah. Sir, the bullet's evidence, and if we don't take it now, you may very well have a shooter's coming back looking for it. Killing's clearly not an issue for them, sir. OK? Here, why don't I give you the card? If you have any concerns, you call me. Okay. Thank you, sir. I can tell the husband. I'm sure it's not the funnest part delivering the news. Whatever. 
Feel the need. Not a matter of need. I was only offering. Allow me. Clinic called. Uh, this is Detective Denise McGoog, and I'm Detective Bob Kozlowski. Paul. Excuse me? Paul. You're Polish. Kozlowski. Uh, yeah, my, my father is, yes. Mm -hmm. Time is 8.06. Okay, we're coming to this with little knowledge and fewer assumptions, so anything you can offer could be potentially helpful. Ilya, we need to know where you were today between the hours of 6 and 7. PM? PM. Could you please speak up, sir, for the tape recorder? Just like hours ago. Uh, you know what, Mrs. P Petrovich, that's, we can take care of that. We were hoping to speak to Ilya alone. And talk to them, Ilya. Say to them everything you know. Here. Into this. Sit closer. He's fine where he is. Hello? I was at the restaurant. Okay. We need to know the names of everyone who was there at the time. Everyone you can remember. We don't ask all customers their names. Anyone who Ilya might know. In order to confirm. He says just what's true. I was there. Ten of my customers were there. They watch Ilya serve. They, they watch Ilya clean. Look at him. You think he killed his wife? So these would be ten regular customers, some of whom you likely know their names. He didn't make her work. He didn't send her from the home. She has beautiful child, house, good husband. No one asked her to take that job. Mrs. Petrovich, why don't you come with me and tell me everything you know about Sophie? Hmm? Petrovich, here's my card. You call me if you remember anything else. You tell me about memory, Mr. My father was a Pole. Do you remember what Poles were? Finest cavalry in Europe. Horsemen brave enough to ride against German tanks. Those were slobs. Forgetting is death. A little bonding. Petrovich, that's not Polish. Serbian. You sure it sounds Russian? Serbian. Yeah, how do you know? Orthodox cross over the fireplace, Serbian coat of arms on the table. Did you get anything? No, no not much at all. I mean, both parents, they're blaming the clinic. They seem a little more guarded with me, as opposed to being a member of the great Slavic Brotherhood. They stopped us killing each other. I didn't notice anything till I heard the shot. Oh, oh. Sophie fell against me. I raised my arm. The next shot split my trapezius, punctured my scapula. That would be your shoulder blade. I asked for a sedative a half an hour ago. I'll be right with you, sir. Right, for that. Right. After that, I've been calling every five minutes. No, 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 no. After you were shot, did you see anything else? Oh, I hardly need to. Oh, I just never expected over cards. Cards? What about cards? Poker. These guys, you know, I, 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 they think a doctor's like a bottomless well. Who were these guys? I mean, well, what do they think? They think I'm, I, I, I'm gonna pay them if I'm dead? You're not. Sophie Petrovic is. What guys? Over on Liberty Street, a speakeasy. I have the number at home. I don't know any of their names. Were you and Sophie close? I don't know, but 
Ah. Emotionally, I mean. What does that pertain? Well, everything pertains till it doesn't. Look, if you're going fishing, you're in the wrong body of water, okay? We liked each other, but that was it. How much you owe these guys? I don't know. Three, four. Grand? Hundred. Oh! You want, you want to hear a sobering statistic, huh? You know we're ranked 36th in the world in healthcare. 36th! You might as well start culling for a room now. Oh. Three hundred dollars, that's what you owe these guys? Yeah, nearer to four. All right? Yeah, that's insane, isn't it? Man, must have cost that much just to hire the gun. Hardly seems worth it, huh? Tell me about it. I'm right around the corner from the third world. I've seen the car. Killing people for 400 bucks. You are not dead. Ow! Oh! Damn it! First, I need some magic words with this thing. Oh, it's uh, temperamental. I'm getting there, too. We should have you a computer by the end of the day. Thank you. Our bullets from uh, a 9 mil copper jacket, too squashed to nail to make, but enough rifling that forensics thinks we can, uh, we can have a match if we can bring in the gun. Good. Uh, we also got a red Camaro on record stolen three days ago. Matches our numbers. Hubby Elias alibi stands, meaning 10 Serbs back a Serb. Uh, but he's not on the system. But dad is. Uh, Retvan Petrovic, 1985, uh, Don Jail, possession of stolen goods, but nothing since. The rest of the family, a couple of uncles, uh, the mom, uh, I ran him, nothing. Uh, I cross the line? No, no, it's just, uh, well, you did all this and you still found time to shop, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I found this great place, you know, it's it's like five doors down from Harry Rosen's, but one-tenth the price. Yeah. You know, I, I figured, you know, I'm traveling with a good suit squad, so I, you know, better damn well blend in, you know? Yeah. Last week, I'm running two failures to comply five thefts under a bankrupt independent bookstore owner who's going around pissing on all the floors of the chains. Yeah, but this. You know, not that, not that I'm, I'm hoping somebody will die so I can feed my own ambition, but, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the work. Good work it is, Purse. Got some more for you. Oh. I want you to run Sophie's day planner, all right? Look for anything, best friends, appointments, that sort of thing. Oh, they solved it already, eh? Solved it and then threw a little bit of their gas onto the fire. And then there's something we don't? Yeah, how to sell papers. My suit. I just got off the phone with a pal of mine in intelligence. She says if the doctor had been killed, she'd buy, it could be some fringe of the movement. She emphasized fringe. She says usually there are more staunchly pacifist Christians. So this fringe movement, she ruling them out? Well, she says they're usually way more covert, you know, like firing through open windows into homes at night, bombing cars, bombing offices. The um, thing is, they don't want to take any risks. They want the person dead, and they want the reason to be known. Mm. Still, it doesn't, you know, write off some lone misfit acting on a personal mission. Lone misfit and a driver. Come on in. Sophie worked reception. She was the first person women saw. She's wonderful. You know of any threats to her? I don't know threats, but there's always been harassment. They just walk out that door or any abortion clinic. It's typical. But usually they're just shouts from the streets. A few times the cars got targeted, but nothing, nothing like this. Anyone you can put a name to? Six years back, they had that protest. I think five or so got arrested. It'd be on file, but... But O'Toole. Yeah, but would be the most persistent. We finally got a restraining order against him, but that was mostly for him being a nuisance. How so? He'd hang around out front or across the street. He'd have all sorts of information on us, like what we had for lunch, problems somebody's boyfriend was having with their car. They weren't really threats, they were more intrusions. You know, I can't really see him shooting a receptionist. Bud O'Toole, charged in the firebombing of a clinic in Calgary four years ago. Acquitted at trial, a couple of his buddies went down, though. Anyone hurt or killed? Yeah, someone's dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the doctor's speakeasy gangsters? Yeah. George Brown college kids gambling for tuition. 
As far as I remember, OSEP doesn't fund contract killings. Tuesday between 6 and 7, I was on public transit. At 7.15, I was at a meeting at Young and Lawrence, to which at least 40 people can attest. Geez, you wouldn't want to get the shakes, eh? I wouldn't do this work if I did. Guess not. Guess you got to be, uh, what, a perfectionist? Professional. So when your colleagues blew up that clinic in Calgary there, you think that was a flaw in planning or execution? with the dog dying? I wouldn't know. They asked about the structure. I told them its weak points, that was all. Anybody ask you about the structure of Sophie Petrovich's clinic? I don't advocate the killing of killers. That's God's domain. But people should be warned. Did you warn Sophie? You talked to her, right? So talking is a crime. If it edges harassment. Harassment? Yes, let's not harass killers. We're dealing with a murder here, sir. That's exactly my point. We all are. How did Sophie respond to your advances? Advances? It's an interesting word. It carries the hint of, uh, what? Sex? I don't know, does it? Nine mil Ruger! Don't you find this a little odd? I mean, sitting here as antagonists? We're both after the same thing. You're trying to catch killers. I've tried in my way to dissuade them. What did you think of Sophie? We're back on that, are we? If she wasn't married, if she wasn't such a clearly messed up Catholic, if I had a spark of attractiveness, I suppose I could fantasize. She told you she was Catholic? Mm, I followed her once. She pulled up, parked outside the cathedral. St. Mike's? Just sat there. Must have been half an hour, eyeing the doorway. She never went in. How often did you follow her? Just that once. I never even used it against her. The guilt. I'm having a hand in so much death. So, the legal possession of a nine millimeter. You've got the faith you had a thing for Sophie. Yeah. I don't know, I took a lot of risks with what he said. Risk talking about his homeliness, about following her, about what he would do if he was the shooter. Still, if it turns out he owns a red Camaro. You like anything he gave? Yeah, him uh, saying that she's Catholic, that's pretty rare for a Serb. What should she be? Kozlowski. Who? Yeah, right, we'll be right down. Maria Valenzuela? Sophie's best friend. Or so I assume from her daybook. You were gonna tell me that, right? Yeah. Process butt on the gun charge. Okay. She walks three weeks between the bombs, managed to cross over into Slovenia, gets to here, and here she hopes at least she's safe from the rockets, from the hate. The first time she tells me about with this man she knows. Ilya. I call her Juliet. Why? Ilya's parents, Orthodox Serb, didn't want him to marry her. Because she was Catholic? Because she was Croat. For Sophie's family, too. They talk to her no more. Their daughter. But Ilya's parents, ones who want a Croat as much as a cancer, once they meet Sophie, they treat her fine. They give half money for a house, appliances show up, new fridge, VCR. And Ely and Sophie? She tried so hard with the beginning. Changed uh, into his orthodox. Converted? Um, converted. Away from the Catholic. But some other things don't change so easy. Not that he bad to her. Just that his world was so, uh, so small. 
So Sophie was leaving. Divorcing? Trying. She talked to a lawyer. Ilya refused. Did he ever threaten her with abuse? He wasn't like that. I, I, I never saw him like that. It's done, all right. Oi! Servers and protectors, what's up? Please. That obvious, eh? Good guys always are. Detective Bob Kozlowski, this is Detective Denise McGugan. Charming. Guests? You know, everyone tries to do their parts. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're here to see Ilya Pet... Yo, Ilya! Guess there's no point in surprising him. My feeling, too, considering his stress. <clears throat> Yeah. Glad we caught you at home. In the news? We were hoping to talk to Elia privately. No problem. I'll be upstairs. Ne plushy say, Elia. So, you're sleeping down here? Just, you know, it's quiet to don't hear the traffic so much. We didn't mention the divorce when we spoke last time. We weren't divorced. We understand Sophie was seeing a lawyer. You didn't feel that was significant to tell? It didn't. I guess it didn't come up with, you know, everything. To tell you the truth, I hardly remember half what you asked me. Two hours earlier, I'd heard my wife was dead. Why did she want a divorce? She came here thinking she was coming to a paradise. Money for nothing, travel, excitement. Delusions, I guess, you get under communism. So you could understand her disappointment. I saw it. I thought she'd get over it. Just uh, be happy with what you had, your family, your friends. Everyone welcomes her, treated her like one of us. So the difference in your ethnic backgrounds wasn't an issue? This isn't Bosnia, okay? Even in Bosnia, Croats and Serbs, married, live together. Not always easily. Excuse me? Would anyone care for some coffee or something? Not us. But, uh, maybe Ilya might. Okay. Anyway, who lives easily? Who doesn't bring their own baggage to a marriage? I just felt it was worth trying to work on. It's stupid enough to hope. It's good he has a friend like you, eh? Yeah, I think so. Old friend, new friend? My father knew his father back in old country. We're, uh, we're like brothers. Well, thanks for talking. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Savo. Jovanovic. J-O... Oh, that's all right, I got it. Kozlowski. Paul. Sure you don't want to stay for coffee? What did you get with Ilya? He seems sincerely messed up. Guilt can do that. Talking good old grief. Why, are you liking him for it? He'll be the first guy to love his wife and kill her for trying to leave him. Of course, then they try to off themselves. Wish I had more Serbian. More? Savo, when he went upstairs the first time, he said something to Ilya. He said, don't something. I didn't catch the rest. But you got don't, right? Mm-hmm. Something about Savo you don't particularly like? Yeah, him. I heard homicide. I didn't mind specifics. We also go on instinct. That's interesting. We never had those at major crime. Kozlowski. Hey, Percy. Right. Great. Great. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll tell her. Yeah. I think they found her car. Great. Tell me what. Oh, the call came in for you. Apparently your daughter has locked herself out of the house. Ew. How old is she? I thought older than that. 
So, um, I guess what? Her dad is... No. No, Dad. He's gone. Well, I'll drop you off. Great. Thanks. Hey there, Frosty. You looking for quarters? If they fingered him, Bob, we'll be happy to find him. So you're working with McGugan? She beat the cancer, huh? Nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, any luck our way? They kicked me in the head, but I'll vouch the last occupants of this coop felt a little bit guilty. Why is that? Door handle, window levers, stick shift, rear view mirror, all been thoroughly wiped. Fresh ash in the ashtray, though the butts have been dumped. They're trying to be careful, but they can't do much. About this, see those holes? Injected casing from a semi-automatic, or so the inexperienced might presume. You're suggesting we shouldn't? Not if we can corroborate with something like <sighs> this. Son of a bitch. Vase of little buggers? Still, certainly, yes. It's sloppy. Dollars to donuts, they overlook this, they overlook something else. These aren't pros. Thomas Masek, 33, ex-Yugoslav and Croatian soldier. Landed immigrant, now he sells and repairs bikes. You got all that from his driver's license? No. A restraining order in 1993. Harassment of Sophie Petrovic. Yeah. A week later, he gets in a bar fight with a bouncer, puts the guy in a coma. The Crown goes after him for attempted murder. A week before his trial, some new evidence comes to light that the bouncer attacked him. The Crown's case falls apart. Anything else? Nope, nothing on record. Well, we better have a talk with him. Great work, Percy. I met her in Zagreb. We go out a bit, we talk about marriage, and then she comes here. Did that make you angry? And you followed? I don't follow. I came later after Armin. Was she married when you got here? <laughs> so she says. Well, she was or she wasn't. She goes to a church, says words. You don't call that marriage. You tell me. This is how women think. You walk away from the man you're with and marry the enemy just to get back at him. Back at you for what? Lots of women want to spend time with me, Sophie gets jealous. I watch out for your suit there, Bones. So that was it. Did you ever see her again? Simple question, yes or no? You know she was divorcing? I heard this. From whom? We met on the street four months ago. She was unhappy. She knew I was here, still around. Well, that must have been tough when she said no a second time. 
A skinny little poor like you, I guess you can try to imagine, huh? Playing cops. Playing with gals. You have no idea. You got peace? You wanna make a bet? I take it off you under five seconds. I doubt you're that stupid to try. <laughs> I tell you a story. Two Serbs, a Croat and Muslim, land on the moon. Muslim looks around, sees craters, and says, Oh, these craters remind me of bombholes back home. Must be a Bosnian land. Sarajevo. No, Croat says, the mountains and the cliffs, it looks like Adriatic Sea. Looks like a Croat land. Serb turns to other Serb and picks up gun, shoots him, bang, dead. Serb dies here. This is Serbian land. Christ, I could use a shower. The mouse's charm sure sticks, eh? Asshole that he is, I believe him. Besides, an eagle like that, it would be a trail really big. And he'd use his hands. I get it. What is that, instinct? The Guggen. Hey, purse. Oh, really? Oh, uh, oh well, too bad. Uh-huh. Well, that's something. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. All right, great. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. What? The tool's gun didn't match our bullet. In fact, there were spider eggs in the barrel. Thank Christ. Somebody else saw the abortion. You know, maybe this knocks out Bud. But it doesn't wipe out every righteous nut bar with a gun. We just follow the evidence trail. So far, the only pro-life which led us to his bud, he's cleared, so unless something else comes up on one of the others. OK, you're going to take the Balkans over abortion. Then you are going to love this, because this is what Percy came up with. Savo Jovanovic, six years here, uh, landed immigrant from Belgrade, on probation, still on goods. Hmm. Rides on the sideline. Also investigated for extortion. Unfortunately, the complainant went back to Yugoslavia. You know, it's a bit of a stretch from stolen property to homicide. Still, most murders are friends and family. I'm seeing as Sabo is a friend of the family. Only, what's his motive? Something wrong with schnitzel? No. It was great. You know, I can I take it home? You take home. Live move. You send the food back in this place and they eat you. Good thing I brought my gun. Captain America! Yeah, we got Okay, so okay, round three. Officers, we don't expect you here. Is there news? Actually, we've come to see Savo. Oh? What can Savo know more than us? Oh, sometimes it's the smallest thing, you know, a detail that one person didn't think was important, another person did. Officers, however, I can help. Here, street guy, Savo. Help us out. You hear anything? Let me get down street. Time of the dawn. We all make mistakes, huh? Mm. Deportation must be a concern. Hey, detective, I did my time. For the stolen goods, yeah. But the other one, extortion? I mean, what happens if the guy who <laughs> accused you, he comes back? Ah, that. That, my friends, was uh, a real misunderstanding. The thing about Sophie's death is, you know, if anyone knows, they're not talking. You got an opinion, motive, anything? Yeah. Maybe that abortion stuff. Nah, we pretty much ruled that out. What we're thinking now is somebody connected to the family. What are you basing that on? 
The evidence. I'd be surprised. I'm not trying to tell you your jobs, but... Uh, but maybe you don't understand these people. See, we're pretty tight. We almost hear what each other thinks. So it would take some miracle to keep atrocity like that secret. Really? Okay. Excuse me! That pisses me off! This is my best friend you're dissing. Nobody's dissing anybody. You asking me if he killed his wife? That's what you're asking. Just mention the guy's name, Savo. Okay, okay. I don't even answer that, okay? I don't mean to disrespect you guys, but... Savo, call us if you hear anything, okay? Okay, detective. Savo, oh. eventually I always find out. Always, huh? 99%, yeah, last time I looked. See, it's a lot of pressure holding on to secrets. Usually a lot of people know always one person cracks. So it's really just a matter of waiting, but that's okay, because we never give up. That's our job. That's what you pay us to do. You do pay taxes, don't you, Seven? Tell you what, detectives, bit of advice. If I were you, I'd start asking Croats. Your soft rate's 99%, huh? 99.9. Wow. You think he bought it? Purse? Hey, purse. Hey. Oh, we just got a hooker in. She's C for the P. She's looking for a patch she wants to release today. She said she's got something on Sophie's killer. She's inside. Okay. Yeah. The understanding, like it's agreed, like formally, that I am technically, you know, Released as of when I deliver the name. If it checks out, what's his name? Now, the understanding, the understanding, like it is agreed for real this time. As of when I deliver the name, I am released. If and when it checks out. Oh, I get this feeling that I like know you from somewhere, but it's like, like I don't want to remember. The guy. Guy confessed to the killing. His name? Troy. Forget something. Troy. Uh... <laughs> Smith. Troy Smith. Like my mother. You look exactly like my mother. First one's into forgery, he's 36. Second is 56, he likes banks. The third is 27, convictions for assault and cruelty to animals. Three. Uh, no fixed address, but that was a couple years ago. Okay, give Ident a call, have them run his prints against the command. Neil! Yeah. 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 You know a mutt named Troy Smith, uh, 27 white, hangs around Ron Team Queen? Yeah, yeah, he's around. Yale Street Crime, Denise, Bob. Hi. How's it going? I seen him hanging around the Green Dolphin yesterday. He's, uh, he's crashing with what's-his-face. Phil the eyeball. Phil Deschamps. He's got one eye. You got an address? Yeah. Troy Smith. He's not here. Who are you? Phil Duchamp. The eyeball? Look, man, she was getting in my face, okay? You know, she wanted money, right? And I just told her, you know, don't screw with me, right? And, you know, I'd seen the paper, right? You know, that front page shit, you know, murder, right? And this broad, not the, not the chick who got killed, the, the skag, you know, the one who was trying to cut herself a deal with me, 
She's like dumb, yo. All right, like halfway brain dead. So I just figure, you know, she'll fall for it. So, so, you know, I tell her I'm a goddamn killer, right? You know, I say I take people out who get in my way, you know, and look at this, and I throw the paper at her like it's like, like my latest thing, right? And it seemed to work, you know. She shut up. She got off my case. Doesn't make it true. How long you known Holly? I don't know, something like a year, something like that. So where were you Tuesday afternoon? I was um, downtown. Typo negative was um, signing autographs at Sam's. Nice clothes. Yeah, they're my mother's. Holly is prostitution, drugs, perjury. Troy is salt, cruelty to animals. Flip a coin. <laughs> All right, let's say she's telling the truth. He's our boy. How do we link him to Sophie? Those are big accusations. Maybe she just wants revenge. You think she's lying? Bob, lies are like breath for her. Harris. Ilya Petrovic's been shot. Detective Mercer? Bob Kozlowski, homicide. This is Detective McGugan. Hi, how are you? What do we got? The victim was unconscious, but stable when they took him out. He should be at St. Joe's by now. Hard to know how much damage the bullet did. Big guy? Tomas? Tomas said he found the victim on the couch with a gun, trying to use his cheek for wallpaper. After which, Tomas says he called us. We can match his voice if it comes to that. We have a forced rear door, and the gun's a nine mil. Nine mil? Let's feast on that. That gun goes directly to forensics, bringing the dusters, cover the place. You serious? Yeah, this might wind up a homicide yet. Interview with Thomas Machik starting at 8.20 p.m. Mr. Machik. Why did you go to Ilya Petrovic's? I went there maybe to hurt him, I don't know. But I just find him. And you got in how? Kicked the door. That generally how you enter buildings? I knock, no answer. I heard a gunfire, a kick in door, find him on bed, then I call you guys. Gee, that's bad timing for you, huh? You know that he decides to shoot himself the second you show up. You know, I'm not the guy to put the guns in my mouth, but most, I think, you ask me, would sit there a while. Maybe he's been sitting there since breakfast, who knows, with his gun trying to do it. Then I knock, and boom. So we shouldn't expect to find your fingerprints on the weapon, then? <laughs> you should. I take the gun out of his hand. I don't want him shooting again. Why not? You wanted him dead, right? It wasn't my job. Besides, he could have shot at me. You know what this is? It's a doll. For a gypsy curse. What kind of curse? <laughs> I'm not a gypsy. Go ask a gypsy. Or a Serb. It's probably for death. I thought I'd share with you the joys of my day. First of all, I got the women's groups, then I got the pro-choice alliance, the doctor's lobby, the gun control advocates. Let's not forget the junction businesses. You brought us in here to feed us that? Let's see, so you're reading Croatian now? That edition hit the streets this morning. This translation is courtesy of the chief's office. The truncated version of which reads, a prejudiced Polish detective named Robert Kozlowski has unjustly accused and browbeat an innocent Croat businessman, Tomas Maciek, and this is my favorite part. Once again, Croats are being demonized by Serbs and their allies. Yeah, that's catchy writing. You handle Maciek any different? No, you know, just the usual phone book to the head, you know. Bob, don't screw with me on this one. Woody, well, these guys have been going at each other for 800 years. What do you think, they wake up one morning, look at the CN Tower, suddenly all the bad blood goes away? Be that as it may. Are we still holding Maciek? No. 
Didn't want to make waves. Excuse me? Elia's gun did not kill Sophie. They ran it, and it belonged to a Boris Yovanovitch, Savo's uncle. Also, Elia's conscious now. Somehow I've got these memories of hospitals being civilized places. Well, they must be old memories. This is called saving bucks. Ah, oh, shit. They call this conscious. So now you question men who cannot speak? Has Ely ever tried to hurt himself before, Mr. Petrovich? Hurt himself? He was shot. They found that Croat shit standing there. Mr. Petrovich, Mr. Majic made the phone call that likely saved your son's life. He made the call, then he stuck around. To gloat. Doesn't make sense, sir. What makes sense? Ustash have wiped out a million Serbs. Not in battle, but mass execution. Hitler from them stole idea. These are butchers. So the Croats invented genocide, is that it? If you know history. Armenian I know uh, would credit the Turks. Sure, the Incas would point at the Spaniards. I said a million Serbs. <laughs> One out of every three. The figure I read was 300,000. Croat figure from dirty Croat liar. Maybe you can keep your voice down. This is my grandson. He can hear truth. Apparently not from you. What's up? Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. The blood on the doll was from a cow. Troy's fingerprints weren't on the Camaro. You called us back to tell us that? Well, that end. We popped the car thief last night in a black Camaro. A guy named Blake Jackson. He wasn't on the system, but I thought, you know, on a whim, I had a Camaro's. So I ran him against the red one. It was a match. He's in interrogation. Well, I don't know nothing about any murder. Blake, your fingerprints were found on the car used for the shooting, all right? That's why you're sitting in this room. They're all over the dashboard, under panel, right under the ignition wire. So don't tell us you weren't in the car. Don't tell us you didn't have intimate knowledge of the car. Just don't tell us that, okay? Bang out your motive and we're all set. I don't know nothing about no stolen car. I don't know nothing about no murder, okay? Well, you give me a different direction to go here, pal, or you're eating all of it, I promise you that. Did you have the Camaro Tuesday afternoon? The red one. I dumped it. Like the night before. Before the killing? Yeah, before the killing. Wow. Lucky for you, eh? Hell of a thing to be caught in a car used for a killing. Yeah. Do you know uh, Troy Smith? No, I don't think so. You'd be pretty sure of that, though, eh? Yeah. How do you suppose the car you stole came to be used in a shooting? I don't know. Somebody found it, maybe. Where were you Tuesday afternoon and evening? Probably the hot one. The co it's a bar corner of King and Duffer. Well, I guess you're free to go. Oh, that's right. You can't go, can you? Because you're being show-caused on the stolen car. All right. Well, same time tomorrow, then? What for? Go over all the new stuff. Yeah, Blake's in here almost uh, every night. How about afternoon, early evening on Tuesday? I don't know. Anything else, sir? No, I guess not. Thank you. Bob? Guess who's here? <coughs> so this is where you and Troy used to hang out, eh? Sometimes. Not anymore. Before, though, yeah. Mostly then. As a rule. Hmm. Not anymore, though. Eh? No, Clarence won't let him. Troy burned his bridge. Oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> All I 
did you ever know a guy named Blake Jackson? Blake, yes, he still comes. Still? Yeah, without, uh, without... What's his name? Uh, Troy. Troy. Troy? Yeah, Troy. Holy... Blake used to come here with Troy Smith? Yes. Like I just said. They're besties together. They're in... Excellent. Like some kind of question freak, eh? They're my... They're my business partners. Just... Yeah, you know, I've known a couple of Blakes over the years, but Blake Jackson, I don't know. What about growing up in Belleville? Had one on your street, didn't you? About the same age as you. Oh, shit, you mean, um... You mean Jacko? Yeah. Then call back. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird. I never really... I never think of him as Blake, but yeah, he is a, he is a Blake Jackson. Well, that's very interesting because down at the Hut One, they only refer to him as Blake. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. I guess he kind of goes by Blake nowadays. But um, to be honest, I've been like trying to stay clear of that boy. Yeah, he, uh, he can't keep himself out of trouble, you know. That's, uh, that's Phil's little stop. He's got the uh, technology, you know, picks up. Voicemail? What kind of trouble with Blake? Oh, you know, stealing cars. Stealing, like, a killer's car. How would you know it's a killer's car? Blake phones me. Jacko? Yeah, Jacko. Phones me up, you know, he's trying to rustle up some bail on the black Camaro. Says you guys are hot after him on the red. But, um, you know, I just told him, you know, you screwed yourself this time, buddy. Because I'd warned him, you know, I said that uh, hot cars are always burning in the end. Words to live by. Hmm. Too bad he didn't listen, eh? Think he'll run? Well, it's funny, they usually don't. Okay, so where are we now? Well, we got Blake in the red Camaro for sure. His fingerprints are all over the dash. We've got Troy basically admitting to the hooker that he's the killer. We got Blake and Troy buddies. And, well, basically, they don't have alibis. Still, what is the connection between Belleville White Trash and Sophie Petrovic? Let's find out. Okay. Hey, Percy, it's me. Yeah, can you run Troy and Blake up against all the Yugoslavs? That's Ilya, Savo, Rad, Tomas. Looking for crossovers, any kind of connection. Yeah. Great, thanks. Well, I don't know if this will help. Last spring, Don Jail, Troy and Savo rubbing shoulders. How long? Three months and change. There's our link. What are you thinking? I'm thinking white trash knows no borders. <sighs> Elia knows Sophie's leaving. Doesn't matter why she's leaving. Maybe she is going back to Tomas. It doesn't matter. She's leaving. He's jealous, hurt, angry. He wants her dead. So he swings a gun from Savo to do the job. Loses his nerve. So he calls Savo back, asking for help. Savo's too smooth to get close to something like that, so he calls his old jail buddy Troy. Troy needs a driver. Calls Blake. Troy and Blake go off, do the job. And afterwards... Afterwards, Elia is so guilty and depressed, he shoots himself in the head. So we pick up Savo? For what? Maybe knowing Troy? Yeah, Savo's in, but we don't have enough on him to pick him up. Uh-uh. Hmm, jack him up and see what happens. He might run to Belgrade. He may run to Troy. Surveillance? Cool.
After the funeral, Ilya was afraid crazy guy come for him. Crazy guy? Yeah, Crow at that funeral. Why would he come after Ilya? I just witnessed what I witnessed. Point is, Ilya didn't feel safe, so I offered my uncle's gun for protection. To shoot Tomas Smechek. Listen, if soldier's coming for you, then you're going to do something about it. So you were surprised that Ilya shot himself, eh? Yes, I was surprised that Ilya shot himself. You know him better than most. Why do you think he did it? You know, I don't know. Uh, he was depressed, I guess. I mean, he was depressed. So it wasn't really a surprise. Makes kind of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. And with that in mind, you brought him a gun and liquor. Yeah. This, I know. I... How stupid. But still, if you... You can try to help your friends, you know. Uh, where are you? Oh, um, do you know a guy by the name of Troy Smith? Do you still have that picture, Bob, of Troy Smith? Yeah. You know, these English names, all to me, they sound the same. Troy Smith. Don Jail. Looks like a lot of guys, Bob. I don't think I can say for sure. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's all right. You'll call us if you remember anything, though, eh? Absolutely. Sabo! They want Beograd. OK. You'll excuse me, please, OK? Oh, and uh, will you make sure that Ilya gets the care he needs? I mean, you think you know someone, and then they, they go and they do something that you never thought they could. They just crack. Thank you, detectives. Goodbye. Oh, thank you. A nod or a head shake. Can you manage that? Good. Did Tomas Machak shoot you? You shoot yourself? Were you involved in the killing of your wife? Do you know who killed her? Did you know it would happen? You know a person named Troy Smith? How about a person by the name of Blake Jackson? Sabo knows Troy. That surprise you? Has that ever mentioned the name Troy Smith? Troy Smith? Troy Smith. Troy Smith. Guy who shot your wife. Leah, do you know what this is? Did you make it? We found it in the basement under your bedroom. Was it intended for Sophie? Ilya? Ilya, are you with us? Ilya's in this. Bet you're one trip away from a confession. Hi, yeah, it's me. Uh, Jovanovich has just met uh, Sonia Petrovich in front of the um, statue of the Pope on uh, Fern and Ronsi. No shit. 
They seem to be having a... an argument. She's quite upset. She's just handing a package. You got it from her, though. You're positive? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, stick with Savo. You intercept him only to go somewhere where he can uh, dump it off. Right. Okay, let's go. Okay, he's pulling out ahead and south. South on Ronsi. Can you see him? He's inside, he's inside. We're going south on Ronsi's Fells uh, towards Queen. He's turning. Left or right? Left. Four blocks from Troy's. Is he left on Pearson? Pearson, we're turning left on Pearson. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What's going on? It's OK. We were held up by traffic. We're still on him. We're still on him. So you should be close to Sororan. Yeah, we're heading east on, uh, east on Pearson. We're coming up to Sororan. Is he signaling? Not yet. Yeah, there's a signal. Yeah, he's turning left. He's going north on Sororan. Hey, back off a bit. Back off a bit. OK. He may be going straight to McDonald, and then he's going to he's gonna go around the block. He's going to double back. He's turning left again? Okay, we're turning left. We're going west on Fern, back towards Ross's Valley. He's not going to Troy. Shit! All right, like you make a move on him. If he goes anywhere near a potential drop, all right, we got to keep our eye on that package. We need chain of evidence. Yeah, Bob. We've done this before. Just a friendly reminder. You still got him? Where you going? Talk to me. We get him parked in the driveway of 75, uh, 75 Indian Crescent. That's his house. Nail him. Savo Jovanovich! Detective Fleming, Toronto Police! Yeah? Can I ask what's in your hand? You can ask. Mr. Jovanovich! Oops. You want to pick up your package? No. Yeah, the phone number, I need an address and whose name it's in. Told you the guy was a weasel. Okay, we've got five grand cash deposit into his bank account oh, two days before the killing, so it's not extortion. Well, it could be a coincidence. I mean, the guy's got to get something for the stuff he steals. You know what I mean? Or it's a deposit. Signing up a contract for Emilio and Sophie. Guys, guess whose number I just found up on the wall? The eyeball. Okay, so we have Blake and Troy taking us to Salvo, taking us to Elia. Elia can't talk. Or won't. Salvo might. I'm gonna take some grease, though. Troy's not gonna. Not in risk first degree. Hmm. That leaves us Blake. Blake's just the driver. Oh, and play. Certainly the most scared. Troy, don't drive! Well, he isn't the shooter. He says so himself. Well, neither am I! All, all I do is cars, okay? Cars, cars is all I ever done. You drive. Yeah. I never done nothing violent. I never done nothing like, like, kill somebody. Till now. What? The killing? What are you. The steal? I don't. What are you talking about? We have your prints, Troy's confession. We have the casing from the bullet that killed her that you missed when you tidied up the car. So we have both of you in the car, but Troy, according to him, isn't shooting. And we're just guessing two people in a car, one of them's driving, the other one's what, Blake? Look, I'm the driver, OK? That's me. I, I only drive. OK. You're driving, hmm? Not Troy. So where is Troy? It's in the back seat. He says different. Well, he's wrong. OK. We have Troy in the back seat with a gun. Yeah. We can't offer you much as the shooter. We push the crown as far as we can. They're willing to bend to second degree. Man, you can't even prove that I was in that car. Blake's willing to testify that you were the shooter. We've got his statement written and signed. What did you say? You heard me. 
We've got Savo getting paid by the Petrovichs. We've got your phone number in Savo's apartment. That makes you buds. We've got you bragging of doing the killing. Troy, if you want to be a tough guy and try your luck at first degree, you go right ahead. But 25 years is a long, long time. Did Savo pay you to kill Sophie? Mm hmm. Is that a yes, Troy? Yes. You linked Delia with Troy, you got the money from Elia via Sonia, you paid the driver and the shooter, and you took a little percentage for yourself. How does that sound? You can prove all that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's where the offer comes in. Now, we know you're in the middle of all this, Savo. We can prove premeditation. That's first degree, 25 years minimum. But if you admit your role in the murder to the court, the Crown's willing to drop that to second degree. That's 10 years. That seems generous. All that for saying what? Who hired you? We already know you're the deal man. I don't know, Bob. Maybe it'd be different if I was. Was what? The deal, man. Number one, I seriously doubt Troy ever met Ilya. I mean, I know them both, but it's like that uh, six degree separate thing. Ilya knows me, I know Troy, Troy knows Blake, Blake knows someone, who knows someone, who knows Queen of England. Number two, it's true I got money from Sonia, but like I said, to start business. Number three, you said they went paying people. Driver, shooter, candlestick maker. I don't see this money leave my bank accounts. Maybe this Troy guy and Blake say stuff to save their asses. Hey, it's not Savo's place to criticize. But sounds to me like the two of them together have brain cells of uh, squirrel. Last guys to do job like this. Detective. Let me try this again. You connected Elia with Troy. So after I've gone through it about five times, I'm thinking to myself, why doesn't he get it? You know, maybe it's a language problem. I thought I made myself perfectly clear. He certainly gave it a lot of thought. Put a few letters behind his name, and he's a lawyer. Yeah, well, if Savo doesn't give it up, we're stalled halfway up the hill. Troy, Blake, Savo. We got the shooter, the driver, and the organizer in the bag. It's not bad. Yeah, it is, Woody. Because the guy who triggered it is lying in bed being spoon-fed. So you figure Ilya did it out of uh, jealousy, bitterness, whatever. With the parents' knowledge? There's no evidence they knew beforehand. Still, it doesn't mean they didn't know. And afterwards, we've got Sonia giving the money to Savo. That makes her vulnerable to prosecution. I'd squeeze there. Mr. Petrovic? We'll get to you next, Mr. Petrovic. Make this way. We've got the killers, we've got Savo, and we know how he got his money. No, Elia's gone for life. Can't you leave him? He's not gone through enough. Sophie went through a little bit more, don't you think? To act as his courier makes you involved, even afterwards. Also, your husband. Mrs. Petrovich, if we don't get a clear explanation about what happened, we'll be compelled to charge all of you. Could be all three of you end up in prison. Who then takes care of Marcos? That's not our problem.
for some time now. Ilya is depressed. Her leaving him, it destroys him. He, he says he can't see life without her. We watched this go on for months. Was he ever seen by a doctor, a specialist? We don't want to believe. We had no idea. Ilya had this violence in him. Then we hear about the death. Savo came after it said. Ilya owed him money. We don't ask. What's to ask? We pay. He is our son. I'm stopping the interview at 2.11 p.m. I'm not leaving till his jaw falls off. It must be terrible to see what you've done, eh? You destroy your wife, mother of your five-year-old son, and gun her down on the street like that. It'd be different, too, if you're going down alone, but you're not. And prison is not going to be kind to your mom. See, we got her doing the deal. While well, you're lying in bed in here, She's out there making your payments. You got her working as your courier, which I got to admit is pretty clever, but uh, uh, surveillance caught her in the axle. That one's not even a discussion. The thing is, you know, if you care, we can drag your dad in, too. Your mom suggested you were having emotional problems before the killing, but you were seriously depressed. I don't believe you. wasn't for me. What wasn't? Killing her. Sophie was my wife. I loved. And then had killed. No. Yes. It was her. Who? Jesus Christ, open your eyes. How does it help me to kill my wife? Even if she left, she's still Marcus's mother. I am not capable of that. That's why you had somebody else do it. No. You and all your motives. Who gains from my wife's death? Who do you think had it up to here with the crots? Who chose the appliances? Chose the carpets, the furniture. Mr. Petrovich, we need to speak with your wife. Come in. Petrovich. 
This is not such a good time. We need you to come back down to the division. Oh, I'll tell you here what you need. This is a direction, not a request. Right on. What's this you use such tone with me? Why was Elia sleeping in the basement? Ask him. Mrs. Petrovich. We know that you put this in the rafters under their bedroom. You accuse me? No. Ilya did. Of course, to be fair, you fingered him first, so it's hardly surprising, isn't it? You bitch! Don't you look at me like that! If he killed his wife, you talk to him! Tell you what you say! Our son! She looks at me! The thing, Mr. Petrovich, is that Ilya was responsible. You didn't. With his depression, his, his medication, his... Stop it with your lies! He was not the one who... Who then? Me? Maybe yes. Because the men in this family have no spines. You go to hell with that cruel whore! All she wanted from us was money and you let her. Look, the pizza. You tear my family apart. You think so? Trick us with lies. Dirty poor. When did Ilya know hmm? that Sophie was going to be killed? Doesn't matter now. It does. It does if he knew before. Probably the day he shoot himself. So, Sophie was killed over what? hundred, hundred and twenty thousand dollars which you would have lost through a divorce or was she just a Croat who defied you? I don't know any how it happened. But yes, we put 130 to the house. It was our money. Then there's the furniture, appliances. She wanted to have too much, but wasn't hers. I don't say to kill her, but then she would have taken Marco. We know Croats. We know them well. All right, she's only. No, don't worry, Marco, please. Mama! It's all right. She's only going on a busy. Street. As long as you're not trying to leave. 